वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व ए सीरीज ऑफ क्वेश्चंस सो फर्स्ट लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सेज थ्री टू द पावर सिक्स इंटू थ्री टू द पावर माइनस फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री टू द पावर फाइव सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन नाउ this given expression i can write it as 3 to the power 6 into 3 to the power minus 4 into 3 can be written as 3 to the power 1 so 3 in power form can be written as 3 to the power 1 so i am writing 3 as 3 to the power 1 in power form multiplied to 3 to the power 5 so 3 to the power 6 multiplied to 3 to the power minus 4 multiplied to 3 to the power 1 multiplied to 3 to the power 5 so here i have four power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other 3 to the power 6 is the first power expression 3 to the power minus 4 is the second power expression 3 to the power 1 is the third power expression and 3 to the power 5 is the fourth power expression so here i have four power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and the base of all the four power expressions are the same the base of all the four power expressions is 3 so 3 is the base for all the four power expressions so here i am having four power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and the base of all the four power expressions is the same which is 3 so here i have four power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and all the four power expressions have the same base and here the base is 3 so they have the same base 3 so we can apply the product law of exponent to solve question number 1 because product law of exponent can be applied in the question where the power expressions are getting multiplied to each other and they are having the same base so in question number 1 we are having the same situation we are having four power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and all the four power expressions has the same base 3 so we can apply the product law of exponents so according to the product law of exponent the answer will be the answer will have the same base 3 so 3 to the power we have to add these individual powers so we have to add these four individual powers which is 6 minus 4 1 and 5 so we have to add them to each other so the power will be 6 plus minus 4 plus 1 plus 5 so this is the answer and now we have to simplify this answer so 3 to the power 6 plus minus 4 plus 1 plus 5 the base will be the same base which is 3 and the power will be the addition of these individual 
powers and now let us simplify the answer so 3 to the power 6 plus into minus 4 is minus 4 so 6 minus 4 plus 1 plus 5 and that is equal to 3 to the power 6 minus 4 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 5 is 8 so 3 to the power 8 and this is the answer for question number 1 so 3 to the power 6 into 3 to the power minus 4 into 3 into 3 to the power 5 is 3 to the power 8 now let us go to question number 2 minus 5 to the power minus 0 0.3 multiplied to minus 5 to the power minus 2.4 multiplied to minus 5 to the power 4.1 so we have to simplify this expression so in this expression we have three power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and all the three power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other have the same base minus 5. So, we can apply the product law of exponent to solve question number 2 because here we have three power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and all the three power expressions have the same base minus 5. So, therefore, we can solve it by applying the product law of exponent so the answer will be the answer will have the same base so the base will be minus 5 to the power we have to add these individual powers so minus 0 0.3 plus minus 2.4 plus 4.1 and now we have to simplify this so minus 5 to the power minus 0 0.3 plus into minus 2.4 is minus 2.4 plus 4.1 and that is equal to minus 5 to the power minus 0 0.3 minus 2.4 is minus 2.7 and minus 2.7 plus 4.1 is plus 1.4 so the power is plus 1.4 or you can simply write it as 1.4 so minus 5 to the power 1.4 this is the answer for question number 2 now let us go to question number 3 6.02 to the power a multiplied to 6.02 to the power 2b multiplied to 6.02 to the power minus 4c. So, we have to simplify this given expression. So, here we have three power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and the base of all the three power expressions is the same it is 6.02 so we can apply the product law of exponent for question number three so in question number three we have three power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and all the three power expressions have the same base 6.02 so we can solve it by applying the product law of exponent so the answer will be the answer will have the same base which is 6.02 and the power will be the addition of these individual powers so a plus 2b plus minus 4c and now let us simplify this sorry so it will be 6.02 whole raised to a plus 2b 
plus into minus 4c is minus 4c and now we cannot simplify it any further so the power will be a plus 2b minus 4c because now the power cannot be simplified any further so the final answer is 6.02 whole raised to the power a plus 2b minus 4c this is the answer for question number 3 now let us go to question number 4 2 upon 7 whole raised to the power minus 6 multiplied to 2 upon 7 whole raised to the power 8p plus 11. So, we have to simplify this expression. So, in question number 4, we have two power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other. 2 upon 7 whole raised to the power minus 6, this is the first power expression and 2 upon 7 whole raised to the power 8p plus 11 this is the second power expression so we have two power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and the base of both the power expressions are same both the power expressions have the same base 2 upon 7 so we can solve it by applying the product law of exponent because here there are two power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and both the power expressions have the same base 2 upon 7. So we can solve it by applying the product law of exponent. So the answer will be, the answer will have the same base which is 2 upon 7 and the power will be the addition of these two individual powers. So, minus 6 plus 8p plus 11. And now let us simplify this. So, 2 upon 7 whole raised to the power minus 6 plus into 8p plus 11 will be plus 8p plus 11. So, plus 8p plus 11. And now let us simplify this. So, 2 upon 7 minus 6 plus 8p plus 11. So, we have to solve and simplify the power. So, minus 6 plus 8p plus 11 will be minus 6 plus 11 is plus 5. So, plus 5 plus 8p. And now this I can further write it as 2 upon 7 whole raised to the power plus 5 plus 8p. I can simply write it as 5 plus 8p. I can ignore the plus sign before 5 because 5 means plus 5. So, plus 5 I can simply write it as 5. So, 5 plus 8p. So, this is the simplified answer for question number 4. 2 upon 7 whole raised to the power 5 plus 8p. Now, let us go to question number 5. Question number 5 is 8.5 whole raised to the power 5 by 2 into a to the power 7 into minus 3 by 4 into 1.06 whole raised to the power 5m into minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 13 into 8.5 to the power minus 1 by 3 into a to the power m into 8.5. Now, I can rewrite this expression as 8.5 to the power 5 by 2 into a to the power 7 into minus 3 by 4 I can write it in the power form as minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 1. Minus 3 by 4 can be written in power form as minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 1 into 1.06 whole raised to the power 5m into minus 3 by 4 
होल रेस टू द पावर थर्टीन इंटू एट पॉइंट फाइव होल रेस टू द पावर माइनस वन बाई थ्री इंटू ए टू द पावर एम इंटू एट पॉइंट फाइव आई कैन राइट इट इन पावर फॉर्म एस एट पॉइंट फाइव होल रेस टू द पावर वन एट पॉइंट फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न इन पावर फॉर्म एस एट पॉइंट फाइव होल रेस टू द पावर वन सो द गिवेन एक्सप्रेशन आई हैव रिटर्न इट इन दिस वे इन द पावर फॉर्म सो हेयर हाउ मेनी पावर एक्सप्रेशन आर देयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट देर आर एट पावर एक्सप्रेशन एंड दे आर ऑल getting multiplied to each other so we have eight power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other now i can rewrite this expression but before re rewriting this expression i want to explain to you how i am rewriting this expression in multiplication order doesn't matter so let us say 2 into 3 into 4 what is the answer of 2 into 3 into 4 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 4 is 24 so 2 into 3 into 4 i can rewrite it as 2 into 4 into 3 then also the answer will be 24 or i can write it as 3 into 4 into 2 then also the answer will be 24 or i can write it as 3 into 2 into 4 then also the answer will be 24 so you can see that 2 into 3 into 4 i can rewrite it in many different ways because in multiplication order doesn't matter i can even rewrite it as 4 into 2 into 3 then also the answer will be 24 so in multiplication order doesn't matter i can rewrite it in any way in multiplication order doesn't matter so i will use the same logic over here in the next step so here it is multiplication the power expressions are getting multiplied to each other so it is a form of multiplication and we have just now seen that in multiplication order doesn't matter so i will rewrite this expression in a different way but the value won't change i will simply write it in another way because i will use the logic that in multiplication order doesn't matter so using that logic i will rewrite this expression so i will rewrite it in such a way that the power expressions which are having the same base are written next to each other so i will write it in such a way so that the power expressions with the same base are written next to each other so 8.5 to the power 5 by 2 multiply to 8.5 to the power minus 1 by 3 multiply to 8.5 to the power 1 so i am rewriting this expression in such a way that the power expressions with the same base are written next to each other so i have written all the power expressions with the base 8.5 next to each other multiply to then i will write all the power expressions with the base a next to each other so a to the power 7 multiply to a to the power m so now i have written the power expressions with the same base a next to each other multiply to next i will write the power expressions with the base minus 3 by 4 next to each other so minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 1 multiply to minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 3 13 so i have written the power expressions with the base minus 3 by 4 next to each other 
then it is 1.06 to the power 5 m and that's it so you can see that i have written all the power expressions with the same base next to each other now 1.06 whole raised to the power 5 m it was the only power expression with the base 1.06 there are no other power expressions apart from this with the base 1.06 so this is standing alone this is the only power expression with the base 1.06 so let us see have we written all the power expressions with the same base next to each other or not so 8.5 to the power 5 by 2 into 8.5 to the power minus 1 by 3 into 8.5 to the power 1 yes these three are written next to each other then a to the power 7 into a to the power m okay then minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 1 into minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 13 okay and at last this was remaining which i have written over here so all the eight power expressions i have re rewritten in such a way 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes there are eight power expressions the only difference is the power expressions with the same base are written next to each other and why i was able to do this step because i know that in multiplication order doesn't matter so therefore by using this logic i have rewritten this step and now 8.5 to the power 5 by 2 into 8.5 to the power minus 1 by 3 into 8.5 to the power 1 here i have three power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and they have the same base 8.5 so i can simplify this by using the product law of exponent so for this part the answer will be 8.5 the base will be 8.5 to the power we have to add this individual powers so 5 by 2 plus minus 1 by 3 plus 1 so using the product law of exponent i have simplified this part multiply 2 now i can again use the product law of exponent over here in this part because a to the power 7 into a to the power m so here i am having two power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and they have the same base a so i can again use the product law of exponent over here so for this the answer will be a to the power we have to add these two individual powers so 7 plus m into now minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 1 into minus 3 by 4 whole raised to the power 13 for this also we can use the product law of exponent because we have two power expressions which are getting multiplied to each other and both the power expressions have the same base minus 3 by 4 so according to the product law of exponent the answer for this part will be minus 3 by 4 this is the base and the power will be we have to add these two individual powers so 1 plus 13 into and then this is the only power expression with the base 1.06 so this will be as it is so 1.06 to the power 5m and now let us simplify this to get our final answer so 8.5 to the power 5 by 2 plus minus 1 by 3 plus 1 so this will be 5 by 2 plus into minus 1 by 3 is minus 1 by 3 plus 1 into a to the power 7 plus m 7 plus m cannot be simplified further so this will be 7 plus m into minus 3 by 4 to the power 1 plus 13 is 14 so minus 3 by 4 to the power 14 into 1.06 to the power 5m 
so this will be 8.5 to the power now let us simplify this 5 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 this is nothing but addition and subtraction of fractions so let us simplify this power let us do it over here 5 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 now 1 I can write it as 1 by 1 in fraction form 1 can be written as 1 upon 1 in fraction form so this is addition and subtraction of fractions so in addition and subtraction of fractions we take the LCM of the denominator so here the LCM of 2 3 and 1 is 6 so the LCM is 6 the LCM of the denominators is 6 so 2 into 3 is 6 so we have to multiply 5 also with 3 so 5 into 3 is 15 so it is 15 minus 3 into 2 is 6 so we have to multiply 1 also with 2 so 1 into 2 is 2 then plus 1 into 6 is 6 so this one also I will multiply with 6 1 into 6 is 6 and now let us solve it 15 minus 2 plus 6 15 minus 2 is 13 13 plus 6 is 19 so 19 upon 6 so 8.5 whole rest to the power 19 upon 6 into a to the power 7 plus m into minus 3 upon 4 to the power 14 into 1.06 to the power 5m so this is the final answer for question number 5 and with that we have solved all the 5 questions of this question set